In a scale drawing, all lengths are proportional to their corresponding actual lengths. The scale is the ratio that compares each length in the scale drawing to the actual length. The length used in a scale can be in different units. For example, 1 inch to 10 feet. In this scale drawing, the scale is 2 inches to 5 feet. To check that the height of our model is accurate, we're going to set the ratio of our scale, 2 inches to 5 feet, equal to the ratio of the height of our drawing, scale drawing, to our actual house, 8.5 inches to 21.25 feet. We can check this by using cross products property. We will multiply 2 inches by 21.25 feet and 5 feet by 8.5 inches. Since each product is 42.5, we know the height of our drawing is proportional to the height of the actual house. In example 5, we will use a scale drawing. The diagram shows a scale drawing of the Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco. The distance between the two towers is the main span. What is the actual length of the main span of the bridge? Since we may not have a ruler handy, we're going to use 6.4 centimeters for the length of the main span in our drawing. Let's begin by writing a ratio using our scale, 1 centimeter to 200 meters. Since we know the distance between the two towers of our drawing is 6.4 centimeters, we will line that up with our scale of 1 centimeter. We will now use a variable in the denominator of this ratio to find out how many meters our Golden Gate Bridge actually is. Now let's solve our proportion by using the cross product property. 1 centimeter times x will equal 200 meters times 6.4 centimeters. So the actual length of the main span of the bridge is 1,280 meters. Pause the video and do you try number 5. For part A, what is the actual height of the towers above the roadway? We're going to use 0.8 centimeters for the length of the towers above the roadway in our drawing. We'll start with the ratio 1 centimeter to 200 meters, and we'll set that equal to 0.8 centimeters to x meters use cross product property and 1 centimeters times x will equal 200 meters times 0.8 centimeters. So the height of the towers above the roadway is 160 meters. In part B, the Space Needle in Seattle is 605 feet tall. A classmate wants to make a scale drawing of the Space Needle on an 8.5 inch by 11 inch piece of paper. He decides to use the scale 1 inch equals 50 feet is this a reasonable scale? Explain. Let's start by using his scale as the first ratio, and we'll use the height of the space needle, 605 feet, as the denominator of our second ratio. We now want to find the length, or the height, that our drawing should be. Let's solve for the height of our drawing by using cross products property. 1 inch times 605 feet will equal 50 feet times x. Divide both sides by 50, and the height of our scale drawing would be 12.1 inches. Since 12.1 inches is longer than 8.5 inches and longer than 11 inches, this scale is not good because the drawing will not fit on the paper. Now is your chance to see how well you understand the lesson. Pause the video and do the lesson check. Don't forget to check your answers on the next slide. If you have any questions regarding the lesson check, please ask me in class. If you really want to exercise your brain, go ahead and do the challenge. How'd you do? Did you get it right? Now take another minute to reread the learning goal on the scale. How high have you climbed since we began the lesson?